stay in school. And the kid asks, why? School's boring. Without school, you'll never get a real job. Well, let's see. Let's think about someone. Richard Branson, he dropped out. He quit high school, and now he owns Virgin Records. Do your homework. But it's so boring. The teacher knows what's best for you. See, staying in school seems a little like just say no. We don't discuss the alternatives. We don't give away to channel his energy. And we create the negative, attra the attractive negative. I mean, by just saying no to drugs, it just says, well, what are these drugs? Let's learn more about them. Um, staying in school means don't quit. Well, look, what would happen if I did quit? Well, you might turn into one of these characters. This is a wonderful magician. He hasn't finished his uh, degree. And uh, hasn't finished his degree either. And yet he works in Hungary and has an excellent way of um, working. So there is another way. Teachers, you can ask this question. And students, you can answer this question. What is your passion? Teachers, you can become guides on the sides. Students, you can look for guides on the sides. You don't have to be a sage on the stage. You don't have to be this remote person. And students, while you at sometimes need someone to point out exactly what you need, look for a guide on the side. Teachers, your job is to connect academics to the passions. And students, your job is to ask your teachers to connect the academics to your passions. We want to gradually transfer responsibility for learning to the students. One way to do that is to just look at what are the different roads to success. It might not be strictly through academics. Ken Robinson points out that our system, in fact, is designed to make sure that we have more teachers. The prime example of a successful student is someone who becomes a PhD professor, sir, right? Gets a PhD and starts teaching again. He has all the, the teacher talk, but you know, there are other ways to open doors. I like to say that there's LASI, Language, Academic, Social Studies, Inheritance, and Experience. What opens doors for you? Well, a lot of people say it's inheritance. But even if you could get in the door, do you have the social st skills, social studies, social skills to really, um, what? Look people in the eye, speak clearly, and do you speak another language? Do you get into other people's heads? The experience is something that you can get even if, you know, there's the catch-22. If you don't have enough experience, we can't hire you. But the only way to get the experiences is if we hire you. Why not volunteer? Why not get to know the company organization? That's what we're talking about. You can learn more about this philosophy by going to the guide on the side. The essential information here is that education is not filling a pail. It's lighting a fire. Learn more. Guideonthesideside.com